All right, hey guys, welcome to another Pyroski Gaming video. Now, Minecraft, awesome game. Coal loading is what we're going to be looking at doing today for immersive railroading. Um, you notice there's a, a weird border thing around here, these yellow lines. Um, you get those by activating F3 and G. They're your chunk borders. So when you're going around looking for your chunks, You'll need this little thing here, Wand of Deep Vein Search. Um, what it does is it allows you to search chunks that have deep ore veins. So you'll know when I click here, see it comes up in the bottom left hand corner, coal, and then the number next to it is the size of the chunk. So how many pieces of coal, etc., are in that chunk. You want to make sure that you build your machine in this chunk right you can't have it can't have it like this yeah that's that 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 that's no good right it's got to be like that it's got to be in the chunk itself or else it won't work all right so what we do is we'll grab some floor we'll put our lovely floor in whoops these these are a bit tricky if you do happen to place one and you do it wrong don't click on the side see you notice how you got to click on the top yeah you got to click there if you click yeah it's 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 weird sometimes if you click in the wrong spot you'll actually dig underneath all right so what you need is you'll need a mining drill so these things once again industrial renewal awesome mod go check it out this is the item, steel pillar, hopper, electric pump, motor, fuse box, and barrel. All these is from industrial renewal, which is all these items you see here. Pretty easy to make. And what we want to do is we want to drop our mine right there. Ignore what it's on the mesh thing. You can make it look more realistic if you want and not have it on mesh. Um, doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to place it. I'm going to place it, whoops, I'm going to place it there uh, so that we can, a bit easier to see what we're doing. Another thing you're going to need is a deep drill. Uh, these things are here. So you need four blocks of steel, two blocks of diamond, and a single diamond. Now they do last a while. They are not infinite though, so you will have to replace them um, over time. So if this does stop working, just check that this head thing is still there. Um, you're going to need a button to turn on and off the machine, which is this one here. You just chuck that on there. And then, uh, so your mining drill needs two things. It needs power from the top here and it needs water from here so that we can uh, cool the drill down while we're using it. So what we'll do is we'll paste our lovely fluid pump there. We shall, oops, we shall pump some water into the, uh, into it here. We are going to grab an energy cable and we're going to put our thing there. Same thing here, we need a water bucket or some water, which we can chuck in these holes. Uh, you'll then notice over here, this coolant water gauge. So it has to be water or else it won't work. When it's in the green, all is good. Now I've got, um, I've got one of these pumps running two of these miners um, and it works just as good. So you don't need to uh, you don't need to worry about running, you know, one pump, you know, per machine. You can run one per two. I haven't tried three or four yet. That's probably something I need to do next. Um, what you are going to need though is you are going to need at least one thousand RF per tick to run this machine. Now, the immersive, uh, the sorry, industrial renewal dams produce just over 1000 RF per tick. 
you can change it in the config if you want to be higher. Um, I think probably they should be a bit higher than what they are, um, but that's just me. There's a bit of resources that are going to making them and they take up a lot of room. So um, there's that, or alternatively you can do steam generation and all that sort of stuff, which I will do another video on at a later stage. So basically what we'll do now is we'll just grab our power from our, our little box here. Um, we'll drop it down. We'll go around here and then we'll go up up here along here oh, and then there and then you'll see this starting to get power now yeah see that's got it stores a hundred thousand RF per tick you got your drill condition you've got your heat of your drill what it will consume per tick the vein size what mode it's in and whether it's stopped or started so you've okay so now you've got your water you've got your power all right where do the items go the items come out of this little trough or valley here now what you've got to do from here is um you've got to put a storage chest which is basically um what oh sorry you got to put a chest of some sort here um which the items then feed into said chest. Um, what that will do is, um, all the items will then drop into this chest from this uh, miner, and it will, um, you know, start to fill up with ore. So if we go around here and we turn on, all right, see the temperature is going up. It's running. This thing's drilling and going down. That's a good thing. And you'll see our chest eventually start to, see, there we go, coal, filled up with coal. So you just leave this running. Um, you can chunk load it, which is probably advisable um, if you want it to run while you're not near it. And that's how you um, farm coal. Now, the second process of this is, all right, how do we get the coal from this chest to uh, say a silo or a um, you know or, or some sort of storage system and then obviously to the train or to the track so there's a couple of ways you can do this um, my my preference is to um, use immersive engineering to make a silo because I think they're a little bit better when it comes to items because you can use a redstone signal to um to push and pull product or items out of it however the industrial renewal stuff is also pretty good so um we'll use we'll use the storage chest at the moment so you're going to want a storage rack you're going to want some conveyors you're going to want a hopper just the base one and you're also going to want a dispenser which is this here all right so what we'll do now is we go okay we need to uh we need to get you know items out of this and take it to uh You know take it to our uh, our place so what we want to do is we want to chuck a conveyor under there we want to do that and then we just want to chuck some conveyors over here we'll chuck a uh, dispenser on there and we'll chuck our crate like this all right so that will dispense straight into here they will come out of there into there. And you go, well, Paro, why isn't it emptying the box? I'll put a conveyor underneath it. All right. The reason it's not emptying is you need to put a hopper underneath. So what a hopper does is it will pull the items out of the box, chuck them into the dispenser, and throw them into your storage here. All right. 
so now this is your storage so you can see what it looks like um, another thing you can do is you can put a item frame so you shift right click put an item frame on there and you can go well I want to know what's in here so I'm just gonna go oh, there we go there's coal in these chests that way when you, you don't need to click on it you can just go yep there's coal that's a handy little note if you guys want to um, identify stuff you know you can go all right well that's that this is uh, this is water so I'm gonna you know identify it as water just in case you um, forget what this is or if you're running multiple ones and you're doing say diesel biodiesel and ethanol once you get you know three or four of these up depending on what machinery you're running at the time it can get pretty difficult to remember what's what we can turn our trunk borders off now and now this will essentially um, just run and uh, and every bit of coal we get from here will automatically go into our cave belt and into here right so now you're going okay Pyro how do I get it from here into the locomotive well I've got an answer for that as well once again our trusty reliable conveyors um, you can check your conveyor here and then like this and then more conveyors and then we want to go obviously find if you wanted to try and get a conveyor I find it's underneath like it's easier to do it like that than it is to try and get in there because the conveyor will go the way that you're facing so you see how it's going to the left if I face this way it's going out and you want to go up there and then like that so yeah you want to go back this way and then we want to chuck another convey like that so now what we can do is we can get our trusty augment rune which is our loader which is this one we can slap that down there once again dispenser make sure you put a dispenser on or else it won't load there's another way you can do this that's um, a bit more advanced um, where you move this down and it's level with the rail I might do a video on that another time but um, for now this is just basics once again we need a hopper on here you'll see it unload from there you'll see it travel down and it'll stop here because there's nothing for it to go into see how it just stops and piles up now we want to get a locomotive we'll just use the a1 peppercorn for now because it's easy to work on we'll slap that down there now inst so you see it's filling up with coal we turn our water on and it is now slowly starting to steam up so you see our coal is in our train there it is and it's starting to slowly oh, there's another bit that should be 31 now yep and that's how you auto load coal and mine it into a, a steam locomotive now um, you can set it so that this will only fill up the locomotive that you put it on top of you can set it so um, other things happen as well I'm in the process of um, of looking at like putting switches in this so you can turn it on and off um, but that hasn't happened yet at the moment it will just load it whenever it can um, so yeah other than that guys this is pretty much a simple tutorial for mining coal and auto filling a train um, if you want to know how to do water check out my other video I've updated a new one of that soon I'll also have an updated video soon coming out in regards to how to start stop so automate trains when I say trains I mean train so a single train on a single line um, I will also have a automated switch so if a train goes down left then you want it to go right the next time once it hits a trigger it'll do that so I'll have that video coming out soon as well 
Um, apologies, it's been a while in making these. I've been busy. Um, I do want to get back into it again because, as I said, you guys have supported me this time and you're asking a lot of questions and I haven't been answering them as quickly as what I'd hoped. So I hope this clears up a lot of um, information for people. If there's any further info or anything you want me to do um, guides on, happy for you guys to hit me up. And uh, yeah, peace out. Take care.